not at all. I mean, it's it's a hard. To be honest, it's a hard life. It it's the best life in the world. I would never change it, but it's a very hard life. The dieting and and obviously training before work, and then when I am working, I'll train before work in the morning. I'll go to work, then I'll train again, work again. Then I might even go and train again. So it's it is hard at the start, and but. Like uh, my missus always says to me when I'm when I'm having a bad day, he said you're nothing without fighting, so shut up and get on with it. So <laughs> and that is, that is true. I am fighting. If, if if when you're a fighter, it's in you. It's you it can't be you can't be pushed into boxing. It's either in you or it's not. Oh, so you're right. that's it is hard to start, but I would never change it. So the team you've got around you, I mean, you're on a Goodwin Promotions with uh, yep. Steve Goodwin, yep. trailer destruction yep. fighting tomorrow night. Yep. How much does that team mean to you? Oh, my team are everything. I mean, without without my team, my simple as that, I don't fight. I mean, I've got uh, obviously Jason Rowland, who's my my main trainer, right. and then I've got my second trainers who are very close to me, Stevie O'Shea, my manager. Right. Richard Clark and my strength coach, uh, Michael Cooper. I've also got one of my best friends, uh, Mark Neverway, who deals with all my tickets. He deals with, obviously, everyone who wants tickets goes to him. He deals with the money side of it with Richard and Steve. So it's as simple as that. Without my team behind me, I don't, I don't fight because that's a lot of what people don't see behind professional boxing wow. is, is everything like that sort of side. I, I'm very lucky that they all take care of that sort of stuff for me and I just get on with what I've got to do training wise and then fighting it. Otherwise, I've been 100% honest, I wouldn't be able to deal with it myself. I just, I would, it's too much. Wow. So you're like, so a big credit to them. What about your fans? I've got fantastic support here. Some of them, that is fruitcake. But uh, <laughs> I've always, I've been very lucky so far. I mean, I've had four fights. And uh, I've had fantastic support in all of them, and they travel all the way up to London. Or if I'm fighting local, they always turn up in force. And uh, again, you, you can't fight without people wanting to come and watch up. So every time you've got to say a big thanks to your fans. And but they're they're good as gold. And a lot, of, uh, most of my fans are, are my friends. So I'm really grateful to all of them. They know I love them to bits, and hopefully like they love me and they come and watch me. And all get behind me, so I'm very lucky with that side of it. I've got a lot of people who do get behind me, and will always, whenever I'm fighting, will get behind me. So I'm lucky. I'm lucky like that. So where do you actually hail from in terms of area? I'm from uh, Brentwood in Essex. All right. So the only way is Essex, is it? Is it mine? Yeah, obviously the only way is Essex down on at the minute. But I can tell you, it ain't, it's not all like that. We're not all like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm from Brentwood. Uh, we, we we seem to we train around that sort of area, so yeah, it's it's a good it's a good place to train. There's a lot of good fighters coming out of Romford uh, this sort of way, so yeah, it's always good sparring about and things like that. Wow, wow, wow! So I notice you've got Boxfit there, the top. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, they sponsor Dougie and Ken. They do all uh, all all of our stable. They they supply us all with our gear and. Fantastic. Tops to wear, and yeah, without, again, without them, it would be hard. So yeah, we're all grateful how, to. How Bob important here. are sponsors, though? I mean, you see, fighters have sponsorship here. How important is it to you? I mean, you know. I mean, I've, I'm I'm very lucky, really, with sponsorship. I've got a couple of people behind me who are who really, really do back me. When when it comes to fight time, I'm sponsored by a company called Bruce Harris Electricals, okay. and uh, they have demo. They all, they all support me when I'm fighting, and they'll uh, help me through my training camp, things like that, with a certain amount of money. And I've got uh, another guy who's a really good friend of mine, who, who's quite close to me, who really helps me out with anything I need. He's always there for me, things like that. So, without again, without these people, this is what. People don't see with fighters. You you need people you can trust around you, and who are there for you no matter what happens, and who care about you because it is a it's a hard business, it's a hard game. 
especially to earn your living in, and all of them people just want to see you do well. And that's Absolutely. that's what's nice about it. They're not there for just fight night. They're there for the wow. whole time. The journey. When you're not fighting, they're still supporting you. So it's yeah, without them, again, all fighters would be struggling with our sponsors. We, Excellent stuff. So tomorrow you fight. What are you feeling? What are you feeling like? What you know? What's inside your mind? What's going inside your head? Uh, a lot of it. A lot of it for me is again just w waiting to weigh in, so I'm getting a bit of grub down me. <laughs> so when uh, are you weighing in later uh, on today? When do you weigh in then? Uh, I'll be weighing in on early afternoon tomorrow. I won't fight till around nine or ten o'clock tomorrow so, night. So, so how comes you don't weigh in the day before? Like you weigh in and then the fight the next day or like. Normally, you'll weigh in, some, some shows will wait, especially if it's a title fight, it'll weigh in 24 hours before. Yeah. So, but because it's, uh, tomorrow, there's two title fights on the bill, but a lot of the other fighters on the undercard will weigh in on the day, which is hard for fighters, especially for me, because I'm fat and I love my grub, so, it's, it's hard when it comes to that, because you have to wait till fight day, but, it's, again, it's something you have to just deal with, and, I'm, I'm quite relaxed before fights, I'm not really, I don't sit there and worry about, I, again, I know what I've got to do, I've worked hard in training, and I'm just waiting to get in the ring now, I can't wait so, to uh, get music and come out and get in the ring and do the business. But you can't wait, but you can't wait. Um, what, what, you got any uh, favourite theme, theme tune when you come out to fight? Uh, I come out to sort of, a, like a gladiator, gladiator style music, so... I did really, it's not really coming out to a nice, uh, cheesy song, ain't really a bit of me. I'm ready, I'm ready to get in the ring and have a tear up. We're ready, so, uh, ready to have a fight, as Nigel Brent says. A yeah, tear up. that's it. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I'll come out to that, and then, uh, once I hear that, I know it's fight time. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. You know, it's been a real pleasure talking to you, but one final thing. How do fans contact Smoking Joe? Uh, I'm on Facebook under Smoking Joe or just normal Joe Mullinda. I'm on Twitter as Smoking Joe and uh, also a lot of people when it comes to the fight time get in contact with Mark Neverway who deals with my tickets and all the money side of it so normally if you ever wanted to get in contact with tickets things like that just find me on Twitter or Facebook and uh, we'll always get tickets out through that, that way sort of thing. Get, they will get this video out and get the fans pumping and going towards Smoking Show. Smoking yeah, Show, thank you so much for talking to Baylor at TV. It's been a great interview. Really enjoyed it. And thank all the best again to Gary Bolton tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you soon. You take care, mate. Bye-bye.